<laughs> yo, my guys, yo, people, big up. We are back. We are back. After a victory, another victory at home, another scumbag performance. But we'll take it. We'll take the W and we just keep moving. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. And Poch caught life. Poch really caught life again. The terrorist continues, man. Absolutely insane. But we got another three points. I won't say in convincing fashion. I'll just say I think we're very lucky that we faced Crystal Palace. This team have been in absolute dead form. Dead, dead form going into this game. It's one win in their last nine. And bar the first half, some patches in the second, I kind of saw that. Kind of saw why. Because they started the game well and then just petered off until they got the equaliser. First five, ten minutes were very shaky. Levi Colwell was getting absolutely cooked on that right-hand side by Elise. We looked so shaky trying to play the ball out of the back. It was insane. But... We started to build a bit of confidence. We're making a couple chances. Matson very unlucky to have a shot cleared off the line. Off some really good link-up play. But between, I think, Nkuku and Mudrik in the build-up. And then eventually Gusto, um, Mudrik and, I think, Jackson link up for the first goal. But regardless, there was a lot of good link-up play between, the two, uh, between our forwards today. One of the positives I'd get coming out of this game was that we look good in transition. That's just about it, though. That's just about it. Like, defensively, we looked a bit shaky. The Sassy looked so suspect in that first half. They were very nervous coming out of possession. Looked very shaky in releasing the ball. Lost, um, gave away possession a lot. Badi Ashil had his shaky moments as well. The midfield was, was just all sorts of messy. All sorts of messy. I don't mean Leon, though. I just mean there was a fucking mess. Like, Gallagher is... I, the PR is insane. It's, it's Mason Mount-level PR when it comes to Conor Gallagher. Because I don't get how people are praising that performance. Every time I watch him, I was like, yep, four touches, passes backwards. Four touches, passes backwards. And like, I know passing backwards isn't a bad thing when you're a midfielder. But it is when you do it all the time. And that's what he did. All the time he was passing the ball backwards. And then we talk about how slow, how luggish our play is. He's one of the main culprits. Caicedo was another one. He didn't really do it as much. But he did do it a lot. And when he was passing forward, the times he did do it, he was putting Gallagher in danger. Like, Gallagher would receive the ball at times and there would be three people around him. He's instantly losing possession. That ain't Gallagher's fault. What's he going to do? We know Gallagher ain't press resistant. Like, you got to be giving the ball in better areas. But we weren't doing that. We look very disjointed except in our build-up play. Like, we seem to build up play well from the back when we were transitioning. Well, not from the back. From the midfield, I'd say. Or from the cams as well. But we give away a silly goal. Again. Really, really dumb goal to concede. From another cross. Shock. Horror. As we do it again. So we continue to do it again. This time it was Badi Ashil and Colwell that were to blame. Badi Ashil has an absolute stinker with the play out the back. Which, by the way, we were talking about on my stream. Our, our setup to come out of counter-attack, I mean, to come out of defensive shape is ridiculous. You have, like, two players moving and nobody else. We need a lot more players overlapping. But again, when you don't use both fullbacks, you're not going to be in that position. Colwell ain't going to do that. The DMs, though, like, one of them needs to be trying to push further forward. Ideally, it would be Gallagher. But all Gallagher was just doing was moving very slowly and then just passing the ball backwards whenever he had the opportunity to do it. Colwell, in no man's land, goes to mark the wrong guy. Caicedo just left shocked and bemused because he didn't expect him to do that. And Alise gets a free goal. Free goal. At that point, we look slow, we look sluggish. We start the second half with a lot less intensity. The early substitutes from Poch were genuinely criminal. They were so criminal. How we bring on a DM and a centre-back when we're chasing a goal makes no sense to me. Makes no sense at all. We, we pushed De Sassi back into right-back, who was never comfortable in the first place. Like... We push Gusto, who's having a good game, onto the left-hand side. We push Nkuku, who's having a good game, 
onto the right from the middle to accommodate Conor Gallagher, who's already not been doing anything. Well, we're lucky we won this game, man. We are so lucky we won this game. I wasn't annoyed about Nkuku coming off because he weren't fit for a full 90, and that's fine. That's fine. Mudrick looked injured, so you take him off. That's fine. I don't have any issues with those. And Noni actually scored, so it's fine. Lavia even had a good performance off the bench. Like, there were some shaky moments, as will always happen, when he's just coming off a long ACL and he's barely played. But that's fine. I don't really have any issues with that. My my thing was, yeah, he just played well. He played well. He tried to make things happen. He was always going to keep his head up. He was scanning. He was looking around. Um, he was trying to pass forward. I think he passed forward more than anyone else on the pitch. Which says a lot. Says an absolute lot. Well, I need to double check the stat anyway. But it was a promising performance from him. I want to see him starting games soon. Give me the Lavia Caicedo pivot. I, I just, I'm done with Gallagher in that pivot. I'm so done with it. Our play out the back is so much more lethargic with this guy in there. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Jackson, very good at the link-up play. Really should have buried that chance from Gallagher. Like, the one time he passes forwards and you don't give him the assist. Awful, awful miss. Awful miss. But unlucky with the offside goal. Unlucky with the offside goal. Petrovic, I thought he had another good performance. Really and truly, when Sanchez is fit, he ain't coming back into the team. Like, I know distribution's only been his real issue, but you've also not really pulled up trees. You've not really been world-class. You've not really been any of those names. So, you're not really justified to just walk back into the team and keep your position. Now you got to earn it. Now there's competition. Petrovic has done nothing to be dropped. There is no reason for him to be dropped. If I see Sanchez fit and Sanchez walks right back into a lineup, that's another indictment on Pochettino. Because there's no reason to do it. There is no reason to do it. But yeah, was there anyone else I didn't talk about? Um, Matsum. Thought he looked a little bit nervous at times, but there was moments of good link-up play with him too. Needs to be utilised more. Really needs to be utilised more. Um, Mudrik, I thought he did well in the first half. Seems to be building up a nice little um, partnership with Nkuku. Second half seemed a little bit shakier. Lost the ball a lot. Wasn't really as comfortable. But I also think that's partly due to the setup as well, because that setup was just straight atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Like, we won. I'll take the victory. We keep it moving. And I'm I'm just glad that we got a win. Because like I keep saying, we have a very, very good run of games coming up. The best run that we could ask for. Luton away. Preston at home. Middlesbrough away. Fulham at home. Middlesbrough at home. Why can that not just be five W's? Why can't that be five wins? I know we're going to lose some, some stupid game on that run. It'll probably be Luton next week. It probably will be. Luton away is looking very formidable as things as things have been standing this season. But yeah, man, j just win a couple games, bro. Just build a run. Like, where are we in the table now? Where are we in the table now? Let me have a quick look. Because all we need is a run of wins to climb up the table. Okay, so we're still 10th. We're two points off behind Brighton. Yeah, man. Who do Brighton have next? Who do Brighton have next? Brighton have West Ham. Could take a draw. Take a draw in that match. If we win against Luton, we'll climb above um, Brighton. That, that's about it. Ninth. One step at a time. But hey, one step at a time. In it. That's what we need. That's what we need. But yeah, thank the Lord we got a victory today. Just build on it because we never do. It's always like one win, one loss or one win and one draw, some stupidness. Let's start building some wins. Let's start getting some wins on the board. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Hate along settings. Arsenal are playing, Tottenham are playing. So we will be there to spread hate and negativity throughout YouTube. So keep a lookout for that, people. Like, subscribe, up the chels.